Alrighty, Captains, uh, g'day, how you doing? Um, this is a quick video to explain the simple compiled wire effect I've got here that will let us send a bunch of OSC values from inside of Regloom across to Notch. So what I've got here in Notch is a pre-built um, bin, and this bin is going to receive the exact uh, OSC commands that we've set up inside of that wire patch. So jumping back into arena let's see how this works uh, also for reference i'm also sending spout out from notch into resolume just so i can see what's going on in here so we have uh four layers of color control these are currently just mapped to the spheres so we can see what's going on so we can adjust our color of each of those independently and then we also have some parameters we should just side they're just giving us a zero to one inside of notch now the reason i built this was because i use a lot of imag effects inside of notch um, and i generally have notch running on a separate screen to my arena and if i can't control them independently via midi it's just much easier for me to control them from inside of arena where all of my other effects are happening behind them so um on top of the ones we have here we also have a resync button a resync bpm now this is basically just going to snap out start of our bpm and start of our continuous modifiers um, back to zero similar to how the resync works inside of regloom if you're using beat sync content and this is a great segue into saying we're also grabbing the BPM data from inside of Regloom. So the tempo here is 120, um, but we can also, if we make that 60, we can see that our notch composition has also slowed all the way down to half speed. And that's because notch uses 120 BPM as its reference um, beats. So everything that's coming through here is being divided by 120 to get our speed multiplier. So this is slowed down by half speed. All right, so now we've got this all up and functioning, and now let's sort of set up how it works. So let's jump into a brand new composition. So new, we don't need to save. The first thing we're gonna be setting up between the two systems is the OSC. So jump into Arena, Preferences, and into OSC here. We're gonna make sure that we are sending OSC output. Now I'm using broadcast just because it's much easier for me just to show quickly here. But if you know the IP address of your computer, please set it in the outgoing address um, under localhost or IP address. Now the communication port I'm using is 9001. Uh, I found this one was free. So I'm going to use 9001 here. Make sure we remember this number. Okay, now we're going to jump across to inside of Notch. Close that out. Now I'm going to start a new layer just so we've got something here to reference from beginning. So jumping into a new layer, we want to come down to our project settings. We want to come across the protocols and we want to make sure that OSC is enabled and our receiving port is the same port number we set up in Notch. For me, that is 9001. Uh, my target address here is just the default um, address for localhost. So that's fine here because I'm on the same machine. Alrighty, so that's set up. The next step we want to do to link the two uh, computers again, the two software pieces together is uh, setting up spout. So that is under devices. We're going to come into video in camera connect settings. And down the bottom here under NDI and spout, we can see a spout sender. We just want to make sure that's checked so we can send an image from inside of notch into Regloom to be mapped. Alrighty, the next step is while we're inside of notch, the video had a Dropbox link attached to it. Now that contains this zip file. So when extracted, you will see these three files. The first one is the notch DFX, where everything is linked up to that example as shown before. The second one is the actual effect, which is a compiled wire Regloom file. And the third is a um, bin file for notch, which we'll be using here. So what we want to do, and I'm going to take this like here. So we want to just note where this is located. Inside of notch, we want to come to file, import bin, Go back to where that is located and just double click on it and that'll bring it in. For me, that's put that in the control chaos folder and there is a notch, resolute notch to OSC. If I drag this in, you'll see it brings in pretty much exactly the same setup that we had in the first example. But what I found is, and I'm pretty sure this is a user error on my end, is it didn't link between the groups. So if you want to make this work exactly the same way as the example, just link in from the output of one group through the modifier that's next to it and across. So now we've shown how to do that. 
I'm just going to jump back into the other layer just because everything is linked up in there to save some time. So what is this actually in here? So we are grabbing the Resolume Sync, which is that resync button inside of Arena. And that's just basically going to allow us to make sure every time we press that, we zero out things like the BPM pulse, the continuous modifier, and any math modifiers. Uh, we're also grabbing the BPM. We're running that through directly into the beat pulse. So that's getting our 120 from Resolume. We're also running that through an expression here, which takes the value in and divides it by 120 to get us a speed multiplier. So what this is here, currently it's set to one because we're importing 120. We can then run that as a multiplier onto any sort of speed here. So if we wanted to make something rotate at 45 degrees a second, we could run this speed multiplier onto that. And that means when our BPM increases in Resolume, it'll speed up proportionally inside of our math and our continuous modifiers. Coming down to the next section, we have our color controls. Again, we're just grabbing R, G, B, and A from the Resolume um, effect, feeding that into a color, and that's coming out through here. And again, down the bottom, last section here is our color, uh, not, so it's not color controls. I should remap that. That is actually our parameters. Uh, and that's going to be our notch values that we've set in our sliders, and they again pop out. So on the right-hand side of this group, if you hover over any of these, you can see the actual tooltips pop up to what each one of these outputs is. So if you want to connect them up to something completely different and not this example file, that's probably the easiest way to learn where they go. Um, just wanted to round back around to when we were saying before that we could use the resync to come in. Now to use that, we want to double click on our beat pulse modifier. And down the bottom here, there's a reset timer input. We're going to make sure that this is connected into our uh, resync space. And we also want to make sure that inside our beat pulse modifier, we are running as use deltas continuous looping and not lock to time code. Because if it's running in lock to time code, you won't be able to reset that. It'll just keep playing and ignore the resync button. Similar thing for continuous modifiers. We come in here, double click on it. We can see a reset timer. And again with maths, reset timer. So that's how you would resync all of those. Alrighty, so let's jump back into Resolume. So if you haven't used wire before, don't worry, because the effect here is actually compiled. So what you want to do is you just want to copy this file and you want to navigate to your documents folder, your Resolume wire folder, and your patches folder and paste it in there. Um, if you've upgraded, if you have the latest version of Resolume 7, and this does require the latest version of Resolume 7 as of June 2021, you will have a Resolume wire patches folder there. If not, what you need to do is just grab this file, drop it into Resolume, you'll get a notification that pops up saying install wire patch. Just click install. All right, now what that will do is it will bring up for you under your effects, under Resolume to Notch OSC Control Chaos. And I like to place this on the composition tab so it's always easy to find. So here's where we have our colors. Everything's reset back to zero. So if I was to now open up Notch, everything would be black. Now, because we set our sources before to be a spout sender, we can see that inside of here. So again, navigate to sources, spout sender, drag that in, and now we can see what's going on. So let's get to where we were at the start of the video. Let's add maybe a yellow. Let's add a green. Let's add a purple and maybe a blue. Horrible color scheme. Let's make that more of a magenta. All right, then we want to just play around with some of our parameters. And then if we need to resync, we can hit that resync. And that's what I was saying before. That is linked into resetting the both the BPM pulse, as well as the math modifier up and down as in the continuous modifier around. So feel free if you need to tap into a completely different BPM. Resync and resync. And now you have beat locked notch file uh, with all of your controls baked into Resolume. So I hope that was useful. Um, feel free to drop me a message 
over on Insta at Controlled Chaos, C T R L D C H A O S. Um, if you find this useful, uh, and I'll hopefully be doing a few more of these little short tutorials up on YouTube here in the future. So uh, have a great day and hope your shows are going smoothly. Cheers.